with the championship match and sitting next to me is one of the presidents of the Pro Series, Mike McIntosh. We're going to talk to Mike in just a few minutes, but we're going to get the, the championship match going. We have Brianna Gendro and Mackenzie Easterbrooks ready to go here. Brianna's going to throw out the first ball and get this match started. And here we go, all over the headband. Let's we'll see if Mackenzie can uh, turn things around. She had a little bit of a tough game in that first string, Dan. Yeah, her opponent, I mean her uh, partner carried her a little bit in a tight, tight match. It was a one-pin one pin, uh, final with Mackenzie and Anthony DeMonico moving on to this championship match. They're going to need to be sharp this one because they're bowling the French Connection and uh, Boudreaux and Gendro <laughs> are not going to let up. This is a two-string match with total pinfall determining our champions today. This is it. This is what they've been waiting all year for. We got some nice trophies for them and some $50 gift cards for our winners today. That's not too bad, huh, Mac? Oh, that's great. You guys are really doing a great job with this here. I know the, I know the guys in the Pro Series are extremely impressed with what you put together, and it's, it's exciting for the youth. I think we can say the same with you. I think uh, there's a lot of us can thank you for all your hard efforts and everything you've done this year. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's, it's, uh, you know, been, uh, what's been like the most rewarding thing of the Pro Series for you this year? Anything that stands out? Well, I mean, the reception's been great, but I think the, uh, the Boston Globe article that just came out uh, two weekends ago was really what did it for us. It, the recognition on that has been fantastic. That was very nice, Mike. Very nice. Yeah, Saret on the Saret on the cover. Uh, the, probably the best bowler going. What do you think? What do you think, Jeff? Do you think he's the best going right now? I have no doubts that he's the best going right now. He's he's the guy that we need to market. He's the one that needs the fa his face needs to be out there, and uh, couldn't be happier with what he's doing for the game. He's uh, he's a very special bowler, that's for sure. One tough cookie. Yeah, yeah. Anything on the Pro Series this year that's, that uh, you can think of that really stood out? Any certain matches or any, any scores or anything thrown? Um, well, not to harp on Jeff too much, but he really did something remarkable in the 10-stringer at Lakeside. He, he rolled 627 for his first five, and he needed about a 795 or so to actually win the, the, the tournament. And he rolled 798 for his last five games to take the tournament by about six or seven pins. So it was, that's incredible, Mike. 798. I mean, that's just unheard of, especially when you need to do it. Right. Yeah, that's incredible, huh, Dan? It's going to be hard even for Boudreaux to beat when he gets older. <laughs> yeah. I bet you Jonathan will put up a good fight, though. <laughs> uh, and we see that already, Steve. The something we wanted to talk about was your son moved on from Canada pin for kids and was a rookie on that tour this year and he did well he's going to be the number one seed in the up the ladder competition. I think Mike knows uh, knows him very well and I think uh, he's bowling Mac uh, yeah isn't he? What, what do you think Mike what's the uh, prediction on that you one? know I wasn't sure if I was happy or, or a little <laughs> nervous to bowl against Junior in the in the first round but no he bowled unbelievable he he had such a great start to the season he put himself in a great position to be in the playoffs and and he's uh, oh, he's going to do really well and speaking of bowlers who are doing really well, Brianna puts together a shot that I'm sure Mac will agree is worthy of the Pro Series. It should be a great match. Our girls here are uh, bowling pretty guy. good. Quick word, Brianna had one of the prettiest tens of that box I've probably ever seen. That was a Some incredible excellent shot. pinning by our ladies. It's 38 She's for Gendro and 33 for Easterbrooks. I wanted to get in a quick word and say that Brianna seems to be pulling like a, a Paul Pierce or a LeBron James. She entered the bowling alley today on crutches. <laughs> <laughs> then the match started and she's miraculously she's off trying to get bowling. the crowd on her side. <laughs> I know, yeah. huh? It's like think, the, you think that's good strategy, Mike? <laughs> I, I'm not sure if it is, but it, 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 hopefully it works for her. <laughs> well, Jonathan was scared. He saw her come in on crutches and said, what's going on? The girls are in their fifth fifth frame, and uh, as soon as they're done here, the boys will come up and bowl their five, five boxes. Brianna Gendro with a nine. Some excellent pinning by Brianna Gendro. She has, uh, Brianna has great form. She really throws a great ball. 
And uh, Mackenzie with a 40 half, still uh, kind of seemed to be struggling just a little bit, Dan. Yeah, she hasn't found it yet. She's got plenty of time. <laughs> Jonathan didn't take long to find Boudreau, it. not messing around, Mac. What do you think? You know, it's, he's, an, he's very encouraging for us to watch because I know we'll be seeing him in about four or five years. Although I said that about four years ago when, when he looks like he's about 18 and he was about 11. So, See, that's the good news is he doesn't oh, get on that die hard. four years so everybody else can have a chance to make some money. Yeah, I know, right? Well, uh, even with that strike there, we know Anthony bowled very well that first string. Uh, he was under a lot of pressure trying to pull that match out for him and his partner. So we already know he's bowling well. Yeah, I heard he bowled his first triple in the States, he was telling me, and I got a correction. We had on the paper uh, from the last time he bowled with us that his high triple was 335, but I know he's in the 360s at one of the States events. That makes more sense. I, it seemed like he had to be a, a better bowler from what we've seen of him. Boudreau was looking to double up on that strike. That would have been a free entry into one of next year's tournaments. We'll see if he can make it two consecutive marks. He's on the object. Nice big 19 box to start. Now, Mike, uh, uh, with the Pro Series playoffs coming up, uh, you kind of caught a little bit of a break, I understand. Uh, can you tell us about it? Yeah, uh, one of one of my good my good friends and a fellow member of the committee, John Zappi. He's he's a fine bowler, John Zappi. You might have heard of him. Yes, he uh, he's having some medical problems and he he won't be able to make it that day. So I was the uh, the lucky the lucky individual to be next on the list to uh, to qualify. So. Pretty happy. I guess. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah. Yeah, now, you know, we feel for John. He's. Uh, I definitely have heard of John. Matter of fact, I think he's beaten me up a few times. <laughs> yeah. yeah, John so. is the guy who's not alone. <laughs> but John's we, the one who beat me on TV when I threw a triple and threw a 172 and didn't right. even win. That's right. That's unbelievable. <laughs> that's right. But yeah, we feel for John. We he's got a deep passion for the game. So I have no sympathy and, uh, for we him. Ho we hope he's okay and. Uh, you know, we always look forward to competing against him because he's one of the best, and we like bowling against the best. Yeah, clutch bowler. Well, well, try to take it easy on my son next week, all right, Mike? Pass the same message along to him, please. <laughs> yeah, I can try, but uh, it should be a good match. It should, and uh, the winner of that match will take on... Richie Myrick. All Richie right. Myrick is awaiting the winner. Tough young match. bowler. Yes. And then, um, you know, if whoever's fortunate enough to move on there will face Jeff in the uh, in the, <laughs> the round after that. You get that I, I shouldn't say will face Jeff. Jeff does have to win a match first. Okay. So he's in that mix, though. Yes. He, you guys could end up uh, seeing him down the ladder there. Yes. Well, that should be a lot of fun. Wow. Oh, what a shot. Oh. What a shot by Boudreaux. And J-Bomb looks like he's auditioning for the Pro Series. Couldn't have played it any better. I just wanted to say one thing that we've been throwing around the ideas of... Of, uh, that's a great shot as well. Uh, as, as mixing in the youth with the adults next year, uh, sometime maybe in the summer with the Pro Series, getting the kids involved yeah, with I was the Pro bring Series. That up. Have like a trophy tournament? Yes, maybe right. A, maybe a draw partner kind of thing. We can have a separate prize for a combination pro and a... Right, it's basically something to see, have the kids see what you know is awaiting them in the future. Right, you, know? you definitely want to show them what's out there so they try to keep their interest. Right. Look at this, the Monaco to the bullish here, huh? Throws the hammer. Your these guys are on fire. <laughs> Ooh, Boudreau. You never see Jonathan Boudreau, miss Boudreau a shot just like that. just missing the. He was playing the wood up top. Yeah, obviously, yeah. but it just drifted left on him, and the ball came off the wall. Yep. And while we have the chance, let's take another look at Delmonico burying the one-two pocket and getting the ten to fall last. That's one of those shots. Well, half, maybe so. you, you, you play it a little too fine. We're right. going to have our boys sit down, and our girls are going to get back up on stage here. What well, house the boys gave Brianna us, Brianna Gendro will continue. No, no switching sides. We're going to yell at Mackenzie Easterbrook because <laughs> she wants to switch sides. Maybe she don't like lane two. Well, she had a 40 half. She's dying to get over to lane three right now. We're going to have them bowl one full string here, and then we'll, then we'll switch sides. Some great bowling by the kids here. This is really exciting. Uh, Boudreaux and Gendro <laughs> yeah, have respectable well, like 47 and 57 and halves, and while Easterbrooks and Delmonico are at 40 and 55 working on the strike. We're going to have to fix Jonathan Boudreaux's score. That should be 57 after 4 and 67 at the half. We get that corrected. Hey, Mackenzie Easterbrooks with a big ten and a and a five for and five for Brianna Gendro. 
In another, uh, in another marquee matchup in the first round, Mackenzie's father, Skip, who's in the crowd here, will be taking on uh, Mark Ritchie in a match. And I match. Great, I, know, I know we'll, there'll be some noise in the background for that match. You got that right. You got that right. There's always a lot of noise with the Easterbrook family. Absolutely, there is. There's always a lot of presence and noise. Well, that should be great. That should be some really great matchups. Uh, where's all that taking place, uh, Mike? That will actually take place here next Saturday, uh, March 22nd, I believe the date is. And that'll be at 12 o'clock. The festivities will start with some intros and some exciting stuff before the matches actually take place.